Ready for a no meat, no egg, no dairy, fast, low cost, little energy to make, great tasting meal, then let's make one. Hello, gonna have another great dish here. This is, a, this is a great lunch. You can eat this for dinner too if you want a salad. You can spruce it up at dinner with something else in it as well. I love this, one of my favorite go-to lunches. It's just packed with everything. It's got just all the great nutrients and stuff you want. It's got uh, just a, an array of proteins and stuff in it as well. It's really, really good. So uh, you'll see the picture above what's in this bowl, and that's what the, and I, and I substitute, sort of go back and forth. I use black beans or pinto beans. Pinto beans have a slight bit more per ounce protein than black, but I love the flavor of black beans or pinto beans, either one. Today I'm just doing the pinto beans in it. So we have pinto beans, broccoli, edamame, another good source of protein and wonderful flavor. I love it. Um, and uh, organic uh, sweet corn. So these are all organic in here. I've got this great mixed herb uh, salad that goes on top of this when it's all ready to go. And I've already thawed this out. So I do this the night before, that way I don't have to use any appliances to thaw it out. I just put this in here, let it sit in the refrigerator, comes out great. Now if you'd like a warm salad, you can just kick this in the microwave for like one minute and warm up your base. Uh, if, you, if it's a colder day and you'd like a little bit warm salad. I love warm salads, so that's why I say that. Uh, and over here I've got uh, my green onion, cilantro, and a little bit of avocado. And then I'm gonna make as the side dish, call it, uh, garlic bread. So this is a nice piece of French bread. I love this French bread. It's like the best deal in town. Uh, this stuff is always terrific and it makes great uh, garlic toast. So let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is just get this in the toaster oven. Uh, and I'm just, I just split this right down the middle, just like that. So you see two halves just like that, beautiful, right? Okay, so that's gonna go in the toaster oven. That can be toasting while I'm putting all this other stuff together so it kind of comes out right when you're ready. So let's pop this in here. And that shouldn't take long at all uh, to toast, just like, like average toast take. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna make a dressing first, which I'm gonna, today I'm gonna just do this uh, sweet ginger. And uh, if you've seen my other shows, I do a lot of strange <laughs> combinations but they really are amazing because they go together so well. So they're really not all that strange. What I'm gonna do is take a little bit of water because I would dilute this dressing down anyway. So I'm putting a little water in the bottle because I'm at the end of it. That's the only reason I'm doing it. Um, I'm gonna shake this up. So that's just gonna be my thinner uh, because this stuff is real thick and I don't want dressing real thick on my salads because I don't want the dressing to be like one of these main ingredients. I want the dressing to just coat, give me a little bit different flavor, a little sweetness, and depend on how I feel, whether I want a reduced uh, balsamic and olive oil, or I want a sesame dressing uh, with sesame oil, or in this case today, I'm doing sweet ginger and Texas organic barbecue sauce, which is really, I love this stuff. It's great, it goes on so many things. I love dipping my uh, vegan tenders in here after I take them out of the microwave and just dip them in this sauce and eat them. It's one of the best appetizers ever. And uh, I'll do a whole show on that. Uh, so I'm just gonna stir this up with a fork, just like that. So I'm getting the, everything mixed together. And it's just right the right thickness. I don't want it any thicker than this where it'll cling to too many different things. I, all I get is a big mouthful of sugary dressing, which I don't want. I just want this over the top. So this is about one ounce of dressing, that's it. And I, I never put any more than this on. Uh, again, I don't want to kill off the flavors that I have in here. So uh, that's, that's really the main reason. Okay, so uh, we're gonna take our, our lettuce, or in this case, mixed herb salad. Now, it's a bit chunky. I take it sometimes and I'll bunch it up like that and I'll do one cut like that. 
just to kind of make things a little smaller. They're easier to put in your mouth, especially when there's dressing on them and stuff of that nature. So this is going in here, just like that. This is a very simple, fast, great salad. I mean, it's just fantastic. So I'm also gonna take some cilantro and I'm just gonna trim this up, get smaller pieces so it spreads itself real nice and evenly all over this, just like that. And there's a little bit left in here that's pretty small. I can just take that, sprinkle it around in here. Put that around in there. Then I'm gonna take green onions. And again, I always point this out, my favorite tool for chives and green onions and, and chiffonading basil and all that stuff is a scissors. Nothing works better than this. It is just the cat's meow, as they say. That's it, just like that. And I want a few more, so I'm gonna use this one too. Love green onions. Again, I've said this many times. I'll, I'll take, I, I don't eat white onions, and again, no offense to the onion growers, but these just have better flavor, they're not overpowering, and they're just so easy to deal with, you don't have to peel them and do all kinds of stuff, just fantastic, just like that. Okay, great. I got a piece of avocado, this is a small piece, I'm not putting a lot of avocado in this one, you can put as much as you want, I just want a few pieces in here. Um, I'm going to actually try and split this right down the middle too, just like that, which I did perfectly. And I'm just going to set this on top, just like that. It's beautiful, fantastic. And then I'm going to put dressing on. I just drizzle this over the top. Get it all the way around everything. Now, you can put it on as you go as well. You can uh, just, you know, use a little bit. I do a lot of times. If I go out to eat and I always get my dressing on the side, sometimes I'll just take my fork and put it a little bit on, then eat, put a little bit more on. And I end up using probably about a, one ounce anyway. I, I, I just would never put that much more on, depending on the dressing. Sometimes they're really powerful, so I use a little bit less. And uh, I'm going to top this with something that is really good. I love on here which is, of course, I don't have them out, so let me grab them. This is one of my favorite toppings. I put this on most every uh, salad I make. It's this or pistachios or something else. So I take a bunch of these. This is toasted, dry roasted, uh, toasted, no salt added, no nothing, slivered almonds. They're fantastic. Oh, just a little uh, bit of a tip. Uh, these are the pinto beans, and I just put a, a foil on, a uh, saran on top, the rubber band. They keep in the refrigerator fantastic. You just throw the container away, nothing to wash. All right, let's get out the uh, toast. And it looks to be absolutely perfect. Look at that, time that, so perfect. Look at that, just beautiful, I love it. Nice and browned on the edges, oh, it's great. And then we're gonna take and just do garlic powder. This is the easiest, fastest garlic toast you've ever had. Garlic powder, just like that, wonderful. I do like a little bit of salt, just not much. I mean, I just, it's the tiniest amount. It's not even a, probably a tenth of a teaspoon I just put on there. And then I just take some olive oil and I drizzle that right over the top, a couple lines that way. Go that way a little bit, this way, and you can put as much of this on as you want. I use it not sparingly, sort of like medium. I just like to get make sure it's all covered. And it just makes it really good. I don't put the garlic powder and the olive oil on into the oven. Now I do that when I use whole garlic. Or if I've sauteed the garlic, then I put it on the garlic bread. I can do it that way too. And I make all kinds of combinations of garlic bread. I mean, just on and on. And I'll, I'll do a bunch of them as shows as well. So there it is. Look at that. Is that beautiful? You'll see a picture up here of what that looks like finished. It's fantastic. It's got everything you want in it. I throw a little black pepper on there too. If you like fresh ground black pepper, just put that on top. I love that. There it is. I'm Foodmaker V, and I will see you next time.